We have a guest that just joined us here, uh, Congressman, uh, U.S. Representative Scott Perry from Pennsylvania's 10th uh, District. He's a retired Pennsylvania Army National Guard Brigadier General who just recently, the FBI came up to him and asked him for his phone, and we'd like him to share that experience with us. So, uh, 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 Scott Perry, thank you for being a guest here on the podcast. Well, thanks so much. I sure appreciate it. Um, Look, it's not something you aspire to. Uh, We get uh, one month of the year that we can kind of plan to be with our family, some of it. And uh, that month is August. So uh, my family, it's expensive, but we so we all pitch in and we rent a little house down at the beach at the shore down at the Jersey Shore. And uh, we spend, you know, time with the with the, the kids, with their grandparents and their uncles and aunts and those type of things. And of course, you don't expect a knock on the door at nine o'clock on the in the morning at, at the shore house because um, you you know you're you're not you're there with people you know and people that know you don't knock on the they just come in. So I answered the door and of course I'm greeted with three by three guys in suits at the beach, which is kind of out of character. So uh, they said, "Good morning, Congressman. We're here to take your phone." I just happened to have the phone in my hand, and I said, "You know, I put it in my pocket and I said, you know, I'm not giving you anything." Uh, until you, you know, you prove uh, that you have the authority uh, to do that. And of course, you know, look, I looked through the paperwork. Uh, I looked through their badges and so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, they started asking me questions. And look, I'm a guy who grew up revering the FBI, the CIA, yep. uh, people in uniform. So this is so out of character. But of course, I, you know, I'm living in the world of today in America. So when they started asking me questions politely, I said, look, I got nothing to say to you people. Um, and so, you know, we went through the, the process. They give me a receipt, tell me they're bringing it back, you know, today when they're done uh, taking an image of it. And, uh, and they said, do you have any questions for me? And I said, yeah, I got a question for you. How did you find me here? Of course, I know how they found me there. They're holding in their hands now how they found me there. But I wanted them to say it. Uh, and and wow. the gentleman kind of got a smirk on his face and he said, it's just what we do. And he said, we'll contact you when, uh, when we're ready to, you know, give you your phone back. And I said, well, I don't have a phone to contact me. So <laughs> can you call my chief of staff and let her know so she can let me know, you know, call my wife or what have you. But I didn't look, what I didn't want to have happen was have the FBI knock on the door and have my elderly, you know, in their eighties, father-in-law and mother-in-law have to go to the door and deal with that. It's just not, it's not appropriate. And uh, and and they said, well, what's her number? I said, well, I don't know. It's in my phone. And the guy says to me, well, it's not like we're going to go rifling through your phone. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Uh, I said, look, I don't give you authorization to do anything, but I give you authorization to get my number for my chief of staff out of my phone. Hours and hours later, my father-in-law is calling my my wife. We're down at the beach with my kids. Uh, and, um, and, and he says the FBI is here. So, uh, oh, great. You know, so I pack up, you know, look, I'm a typical dad at the beach. I got a cart with all the kids, toys, yep. the blanket, the umbrellas, all that chairs, all that stuff. Right. I pack it up like a pack mule. I send my kids back to the house. Uh, and you know, I start heading up the street. You know what I'm looking for? It's not hard mm-hmm. to find it to shore black SUV parked on a side street. I stop pushing my cart. I walk over towards the towards the vehicle. Of course, all these guys jump out, walk up to me with paperwork, my phone. And I said to the gentleman, I said, sir, why could you not honor your commitment? He said, what commitment was that? I said, the commitment you made to call my chief of staff instead of bothering my, my father-in-law and my mother-in-law. And he said, well, we couldn't find her. Oh, come on. I thought that's what you do. You know, so that that was my experience. You know, they took an image of the phone and I'm, I'm sure, you know, I'm sure that they, they're trying to do the paperwork to say they want to look inside the phone at this point. But uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm a little skeptical living in the world today, watching what's happening. I'm sure they have everything they need off the phone to start with. Now, you said a lot of things there. Uh, one, uh, you said you asked them how they find you and. Yeah. You said, I'm sure, uh, I know how they found me. I, I, I want to say, are you insinuating that the phone and working with an Apple or whoever the phone company is, they located you that way? Is that, is that kind of what you're thinking? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. <clears throat> I, it's not like I announced to the world, 
hey, I'm going to be at this address out of town on yeah. this day. You know, we live in a dangerous world. I got young children that I'm trying to shield from, you know, the rampant crime running across America right now, courtesy of the leftist Democrats. So I don't announce those kind of things. I tell people after the fact, hey, I was just at so-and-so. Right. This is what, you know, but it's after the fact. Uh, and, and so obviously, look, we're, we're glad that they can go after terrorists and criminals and use technology to do that. Unfortunately, this is now the new surveillance state where parents who have the gall to go to a school board meeting, a school that they pay for in their taxes right. under penalty of law, by the way, and have the gall to question what the school is teaching their children. You know, the FBI and the Department of Justice puts a threat tag on them. That's the world we live in today. Now, to, to follow up with that, you know, are you Droid or are you Apple? What, what kind of a phone? Uh, you- I, I've, I've got an iPhone. Okay, so you got an case. iPhone. I remember, you know, when the whole San Bernardino thing happened, I don't know if you remember yeah. how much heat sure. Tim Cook got for not uh, giving the information. And recent book that just came out called After Steve, meaning after Steve Jobs, uh, uh, they specifically right. talked about how the government didn't like Tim Cook because he was close with Trump and he was close with both presidents. And they're like, how is it that you're going to be close to a guy like that? And he's going to listen, this guy calls, I, I deal with him. So, And uh, Tim Cook, most people don't even know, he was a former Republican is what he was, Tim Cook growing up. I know that's going to sound strange, but that's a complete different conversation. The other part of it is, so... You know, they said they're going to bring the phone back. Uh, I'm assuming they haven't yet brought the phone back. No, they have. They have okay, brought they it did. back. And yeah. how much after yeah. did they bring it back? How much? How many days after did they bring well, it back? Well, they, they said it was going to be a couple hours. It was the length of the whole day, which, okay, quite honestly, I didn't believe a couple hours. But why say a couple hours? It's going to take all day. I mean, why not just be truthful about it? So how about this now? Now that you experienced that, have you uh, changed your approach and philosophy on how your you know, handling your phones, because, you know, most of the time, a lot of people have two phones, you know, especially yeah, people yeah. in your kind of a, p- a position, you have to have two phones. Yeah. One is going to be work in person. Yeah. Has, has anything yeah. with your approach changed? Uh, quite honestly, it hasn't. Uh, look, my life's an open book. I don't say anything on the phone that I wouldn't say publicly. You know, yeah, I objected to the electors and I explained to the world why. I called for investigations. I called for audits. I explained why. Those positions haven't changed. What my concern, so I'm not concerned about what I've said on my phone, what I've said. I can't control what other people send me, number one. Number two, I absolutely can't control what the FBI, the Department of Justice, the CIA, the NSA, any of those three letter alphabet organizations will put on my phone. I can't control that. And neither can anybody else. Yeah, that's not comfortable for me because I no, it's no one's not. it's no one's business to see what I'm telling my wife, my kids, my f- that sure. part there is zero uh, I am zero tolerance for that. Now, let me ask you what happens if you don't give the phones? Let's just say the FBI FBI does show up and you're like I'm not giving it to you. What would they do to you? Uh, I think they would turn you around, put you in handcuffs and haul you away. I is mean, that, look, that's that's that the happen? that's the new police state that we live in. Understand, on this phone is attorney client privilege. I asked them I said, look, if you wanted the phone, why don't you just contact my attorneys? You know, I have attorneys now because of this whole J6 charade, right? This, this so-called committee. And the one agent said, oh, you have so-and-so and so-and-so as your attorneys. I said, yeah, why don't you just call them? And no answer to that. Um, so, uh, again, this is, this is the world that we live in. And um, you, I, you just got to live that way, knowing that at any moment – this could ha- look. They're after me at this moment. They're after Mike Lindell, Donald Trump, John Eastman, Jeffrey Clark. You name it. The list is long and distinguished. But that's us today. It's going to be everybody else. And they just they just hired eighty seven thousand or paid yep. to hire eighty seven thousand IRS agents. Do you think they're going after you know uh, the guy that owns uh, Amazon, Jeff no. Bezos? Do you think they're going? Yeah, they're going not going after Mark Zuckerberg. They're coming after people that pay some guy 25 bucks to, to cut the lawn. That, that, you know, so, some lady that's trying to work three jobs to pay for gas, food, and uh, the cost of living right now, who, who, who then said, well, I, I'm not at home, so I'm going to hire somebody for, you know, 20 bucks to clean the house. You know, th- that's who they're coming for. It, it, so it's me today, it's you tomorrow. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.